no surprise here, too much salt can send your blood pressure soaring, but there's growing evidence that the risks are not equal for men and women. Yeah, this morning our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain why between men and women, one may benefit even more from cutting salt and doing it sooner rather than later. Salt sensitivity means your body has a natural tendency to hold on to extra salt instead of getting rid of it in your urine. But being salt sensitive can also increase your risk of high blood pressure, especially for women. Women are in fact more salt sensitive than men, which means that their blood pressure responds to salt intake. Dr. Eric Ballon de Chantamel is studying that impact in his lab at the Medical College of Georgia at Augusta University. My laboratory is basically trying to understand what are the mechanisms that lead to this elevation in pressure. They believe a hormone called aldosterone plays a key role. Women have higher levels of it and more receptors for it. That means women have the most to gain from cutting their salt intake. Since they are more salt sensitive, they will be the first one to really benefit for this decrease in pressure associated with the reduction. In there are many biological reasons females might be naturally more sensitive to salt, including the need to increase their blood volume during pregnancy. But there is no easy test to determine how sensitive someone is to salt. The way to do it is basically telling people, change your diet, move to a diet that is poor in salt and looking at the difference in blood pressure. And that's how we test the salt sensitivity. The bottom line. The first thing to do, and I would say for women first, but for everybody in general, is really to reduce the salt intake to protect uh, their blood pressure. Americans are eating way too much salt. The majority of Americans would benefit from reducing their salt intake. And remember, a lot of that sodium is hidden in processed foods and doesn't come from your salt shaker. That includes bread, soups, and cold cuts. Reading labels on foods that you eat often is a good place to start.